we've been hearing rumblings about so the we've been hearing rumblings about the Carolina Panthers making some huge moves. Uh, you know, they they got rid of their coach, Matt Rule. They got rid of Robbie Anderson. And just the other day, they traded their best player, Christian McCaffrey, to the 49ers. Now, you're going to want to do this. You have to do okay. When you trade your best player on a team, let's let me let me teach you guys something. When, when you trade your best player on the team, one of two things have happened. One, the best players got disgruntled and they won out. Or two, your team is so bad that you have no future. So you need to start if you're if you're not going to do anything in the present, you need to start building for the future. So if you have no future, i.e., if you don't have much draft picks, you have to make some huge decisions. And that's what you saw the 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 Carolina Panthers did. Now let me not let let me not let y'all forget that the Carolina Panthers put themselves in this situation trading for uh, Sam Darnold and trading for Baker Mayfield, giving up their draft picks. Two players, by the way, who have not worked. So now you have to, because you made such a poor decision as far as trading, as far as, you know, manipulating your team, you have to trade Christian McCaffrey. So when we talk, if you want to talk about winners and losers, the Carolina Panthers won this trade alone because they got like four four or five draft picks which will help them in the future however you're giving up christian mccaffrey who when healthy is arguably a top three running back in the league to the 49ers i think <sighs> the, the carolina panthers are in a bad spot bad bad spot because think about it. Now all you have is DJ Moore. I don't even know who their running back is now. And on top of all that, you still have Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold throwing the ball. PJ Washington right now is the quarterback, but who was in the um XFL? And for the 49ers, man, this is a home run. So the 49ers <laughs> I said this before the uh, before the season started. I think the 49ers have the best team collectively in the league. In the league, if we just talk about names, if we talk about talent, I think they have the best roster on the league in the league. And now with I mean now with Christian McCaffrey, I think it's a two team from how they've been how we've been playing this year. And, and how teams have looked. It's a two-team race in the NFC East, or NFC. I think it's the Eagles and now the the 49ers. Yes, you still have the Cowboys. They look good. We'll see what they look like with Dak Prescott coming back on Sunday. Yes, you have. Um, you still can't really rule out the Green Bay Packers because it's the Green Bay Packers. You still have the Giants. That's 5-1. and one. You have... Uh, Minnesota, I think it's five and one. So they have some teams. But I think if you just look at talent and roster, it's a two team race, the Eagles and the 49ers. And now that you have Christian McCaffrey with with all the injuries that they have at running back. Well, all the injuries they have in, in general, Elijah Moore. Like it's yo. This team this team is gonna and you have coach Kyle Shanahan coaching. It's Christian McCaffrey being on this team is huge. Now, and you know it's big because the, the Rams wanted him. And now the Rams are trying to trade Cam Akers, but the Rams wanted him. And again, he when healthy, which he's healthy now apparently, he is a top three running back in the league. There's not you can't go too much farther if we're talking about best running backs and not mention Kiss, Christian McCaffrey's name. He <laughs> Uh, I hate to bring race into it, but he also is on that small list of greatest Caucasian players of all time. You know, you got Tom Brady. You got, uh, or let me say, Caucasian non-quarterbacks. You got Cooper Cooper Cup. You got Christian McCaffrey. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, Julian Edelman. I don't know. 
All I'm saying is Travis Kelsey. Forgot about him. All I'm saying is this. <clears throat> um, this move shows two franchises moving in two completely different directions. The 49ers are in win now mode. With Trey Lance going out, they're in win now mode. And how good this team is, they're in win now mode, which is why you get someone like Christian McCaffrey. You saw, you know, it kind of you saw the work for the uh for the for the Rams last year, getting OBJ. Of course, you had Aaron Donald, you had Jalen Ramsey, getting Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, Robert Wood, Van Jefferson. Like getting all these players. You're in the win now mode, and of course, it ultimately got them a championship. Getting, making a move, giving up all those picks for Christian McCaffrey. You're in win now. You want to win now. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to surround, which they're doing a really good job. They're trying to surround Jimmy G with as much talent as possible because they know that Jimmy G still has limitations. So now you give him a Debo Sam, Samuels. Now you give him a Christian McCaffrey. Now he has Brandon Ayuk. George Kittle. This is going to be a... I'm still trying to figure out. Now I know Christian McCaffrey wasn't there, but I'm still trying to figure out how this 49ers team lost to the Broncos. Mm. But yeah, man. Oh, I, I feel bad for... Uh, I also feel bad for uh, uh, DJ Moore. <laughs> Boy, I feel bad for DJ Moore. Mm. You know, DJ DJ Moore, man, he, oh, that's a Maryland product too, man. He is stuck on that team. They let Robbie Anderson go. They let Christian McCaffrey go. You're thinking, all you're hearing is your name in trade talks. And as soon as you let Christian McCaffrey go, no, nah, we think DJ Moore is a building block. Ah! <laughs> ah, that hurts. Mm. I would be on my phone, my manager, quickly. Like, hey, yo, what, what's happening, bro? What's, what's, what is going on? That's crazy. Mm. Well, again, shouts out to Christian McCaffrey, now 49er. And uh, I'm interested to see... I'm interested to see what the Panthers look like in three years. Because the Panthers, quite as kept, while they haven't been the most successful team, they've all, they've never been that terrible. Yeah, they may have had a season or two when they're just like, yeah, no, they're, they're god-awful. But they've never had, like, a season where they didn't have talent. I mean, they still have talent on this team, but I'm ex- I'm 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 quite I'm interested to see what this team looks like in three years, like what their quarterback looks like. Now, who is their build? I guess DJ Moore is the building block. What this team looks like around DJ Moore, I don't know. 